guys, it is me with a Roblox video. I haven't done a Roblox video in almost like a couple months. So I decided to do Beast Swarm because the last Beast Swarm video I did was very short. It was just how to get the Vicious V and it was terrible. So we're going to make a better one because I have better technology now and we're going to do this. So, um... I've actually, since that video has came out, I've actually got very good at the game. Um, not good enough to complete, like, the freaking hard challenge, limited time challenges, but I have, I just got a Proton B recently, like, just, like, a week ago or something like that. It's three weeks, four weeks, probably a month, but okay. Yeah, I think it was probably a month. But, um, it was somewhere in the middle of October, but, um, I'm sorry I didn't do a, a Halloween video or something like that um i could have but um maybe i guess i could make up for that with the gary's mod horror video that i'll be making um it's supposed to continue off the the weird you know the horror series that i did with uh it was shoot now i can't remember the name of it it was the it was no, you guys probably remember the name of it, but okay, um, but, um, but I did, I did the first one and the second one, because I think the first one was very short, but then, I, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry, I need to, I need to grab my little brother's iPad just to search up what the video was called again, because I can't remember the name of it was, um, Okay. Sorry guys, I'll, I'll do something. I'm just trying to figure out um the thing. Um, I guess what I could do is what is it happening? Um, let's go to the blue flower field because I have to grind there. Oh my gosh! I just flinged everywhere. Where's the rare sprout? I don't know. They, they, they leave a glowing thing above them. Unless he already got it. I've done it. Damn, he just keeps planting crap. Where are they spawning? He's, he's, they're spawning in the fields and he's in. Must destroy the vicious bird! Oh, oh. No! Don't kill him! We better take him out. He's about to die. No, give me! I did. I got a forest stinger. A daily bonus? Oh! A daily bonus? So you get like. More stinger. Oh my god. Whoa! Festo gifts. Yay! I got. Oh my gosh, guys. I need 50 more vicious, vicious stingers and I'll be able to get the vicious bee. Even though I have like no hive space for him. That means I need to save up for another one. <laughs> I almost was able to get another hive, but I spent a lot of my money on getting um the the big gigantic blue spiky thing on my back um or i mean my shoulder it's not really on my back i'm slowly but surely getting all of the items that um dang okay guys i'll be afk really quickly i need to find out um Fifty subs special, yeet! Okay, um, yeah, guys, I'm still excited about that. Fifty subscribers. This might change, but okay. Um, okay, there it was. It was Death of the Dream. I'll be doing a Death of the Dream a uh, three, so I guess that could be the Halloween thing. It was a Gary's Mod horror map, so I guess I'll do that, guys, for you. I'll do that for the Halloween thing. Sorry I was late. I've been just too busy with school. Because school, school this week was very, very busy. And then, of course, I got the new Force Unleash games and was playing those crazy this week. Um, and then, of course, for my 50 sub, I decided to make, like, a really quick video of it. But I won't make a series unless you guys want a series. Because that game's a little old and maybe not that many people really want to see it. So... Um, I, 
can see really why you guys probably wouldn't really see it because it's the old game and stuff like that but same thing with Gary's mod and people love Gary's mod so it's, just, it's weird like that but okay but I'll only do it if you guys want me to do a Force Unleashed series um now just so you know guys they might be a little bugged because my Force Unleashed 1 the cutscenes are a little bugged they don't want to like play sound um and Force Unleashed 2 the cutscenes are very laggy and sometimes don't play but um but anyways I might not even really do a video for it anyways because um oh my goodness the whole game froze please don't crash game because if you do then I have to freaking like restart this whole video and that will be very annoying because I don't have any equipment to combine videos actually maybe I should search that up I want to combine videos in Windows 10 while I'm doing my YouTube videos so that if it does crash I can figure it out so that you guys don't have to have this scene be cut and never see it again. You might probably never even see it. I don't know why I'm saying this because if it does crash, it'll figure out how to do it. Is the garlic planting sprouts a gummy sprout? Oh my. Is your game not froze? Mine's froze. Is yours froze? Cause mine's not. I mean, mine's froze. Why does Siri keep turning on? That's a default. Okay, this is the. This is four months ago, so we're gonna watch this guy. Uh, darn ads. Okay, um. Now, guys, how do ads work again? Because I've been watching some YouTube guys, and they don't have any ads at all. But then, they can make just ads appear like this. So, does it work like this? I can play, ad, go now. Or, w will it actually work? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Like, play ad now, just to see if it works. I, I'm just, okay. Play now, ad. Okay, I, I don't know. those <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I don't know guys, I'm just playing with it, because I don't know how it works, because I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers for extension, go sub to him, he was doing a, a video, and all of a sudden, randomly was like, no, just play that ad, and it played, and I was like, what? Now do it. Um, I don't know, that would, that would actually kind of be a little annoying if it actually played, like, multiple ads. <laughs> there would be 50 ads, like, in 3 seconds. Maybe that's um, I'm so sorry guys that the game is like completely frozen. Um, I don't know what the heck is wrong. Did Elsa just come in here and just freeze everything? Um, or did someone just play the pause button on everything? Literally everything is just complete froze. And yeah guys I just got disconnected so I am going to combine these videos to another one um unless you'll let me reconnect let's let's try Um, uh, guys, I am not with Carter, so, um, 
I will go join him. Uh, this will be a jump cut, but yeah, guys, I'll see you in the jump cut. Hey guys, I'm back from the jump cut. Um, I found out how to do it, so yay! Um, that sounded a little cringy, guys. I'm so sorry, but I'm just excited. I found out how to do it. I was kind of blind. I didn't know there was a. I didn't know there was a. Hi. Um. Yeah. Now we're having an intro. So. To computer videos. Cause I didn't know there was already a video editor on Windows. I thought you had to like buy one or do something. And I don't really want to buy us on the computer. Cause this is a very good. Uh. Window Mac computer. <laughs> um. And it's new, so we don't want it to get destroyed. Um, the million sub You can see Carter like right over there in his hive and. Um, oh shoot, there's freaking beetle after me. Um, I have to grind in this field for a little. I'm gonna grind in it. Uh, give me the supplies. Um, I don't know why it's supplies, because it's really not really supplies or really tokens, but if I remember correctly, I need to collect a little bit of pollen in this field. Um, to make this more interesting, I am gonna go fight the king beetle right now. Um, I don't want it just to be me grinding. Um, so we're gonna defeat the King Beetle. Um, so the song name, um, is a code. Uh, you have to figure out its name, and the name will be the code. I don't know what the name was. So don't ask me for it, because I don't know what it is. I can't remember what the code was. No, no, that, 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 no, it's saying it's the song name. That's not the code. You actually have to write the name of the song. Alright, guys, so I just defeated the King Beetle and gave you some a couple of rewards. Pretty good ones. Um, sometimes you can actually get another Beetle token and it'll be better. Um, oh, yeah, I just realized I need to talk to Brown Bear because if you complete 300 of his quests, he'll give you a Cub Bear. A uh, brown cup bear, so just so you know. Um, welcome back. You're ready for a new quest complete. I'll give you some royal jelly and a ticket. You have completed 10 of my quests so far, and every new quest becomes more challenging. Check your quest menu to see what's up next. Yeah, ye. Okay, um, so before we do anything, we're gonna go fight this weird, um, bird in here. Um, ah! I think I got what I deserved. I was about to, I was about to do that weird meme that goes like, "Come down, Paul," something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It was oh, that's a grenade. I don't even know if that meme's dead yet. All I know is my favorite YouTuber is using it for something. He used it once, but a lot of memes have been using it. So I don't know if it was like still not dead yet, or like it is dead. I'm not sure. Oh, that's a grenade. Dang, bees, how are you running out of energy like that? Just a level five weird bird in part of Lee in his egg that throws grenades at me, which is not very strange at all in this world. But what is weird is why is bees bees blocky like Minecraft? Okay, just so you know, I think Minecraft kind of copied that, but or they just did that. I don't know, the bees in Minecraft are exactly the same shape as Beast Swarm, and don't say Beast Swarm copied it, because Beast Swarm was way out before even bees were added to Minecraft, so... Minecraft is square, what do you expect? I know, but it's funny how they're exact- oh, three. They're the same shape. But I don't want people to believe that this game was copying, because they weren't, like, the- Bro, why did someone just come in here? It's me! I'm the ugly creature. Where, you, where did your bird just go? But there was just two recently. Oh wait, no. Mine was level two. Did you already kill yours already? That was 
fast. There's level three. I was like, where the heck did you go? It like, vanished on my screen. Whoa. Ow. The world clock is not worth really I've done it once, and like every hour you do it, it will give you like a ticket. No, it actually gives you more per hour than just one. You get one on the first try, but then you have to wait like an hour to get like more. I just, like, I don't know how anyone can play for that long. Let, gamers can, but I'm not really a game. I'm a gamer, but I'm a young one. So I have like stuff to do. I have to do workouts and stuff to get myself better in shape. Um, and, and then I also have school stuff. Online school has a lot of work to do. Honestly, I think I actually, I think you guys should be at least glad of that I at least can still post things. If I was in person school, I would probably have a much harder time posting stuff because there's like literally no time to post crap on online uh, in, in person school. Um. Okay, that bird is literally about to just die. Whoa. Calm down with their grenades. Yes. Give me the reward. Oh, okay. I, I thought I was about to fall in that lava pit. It's like, I don't want my bees to go to sleep just yet because I still need them. Something I think a lot of people want and I want now guys, the reason why I picked Bee Swarm, and you're, you're probably like, Car Carson, why did you pick something unpopular? You're probably not saying that, but some people might, some people have questions. I'm just gonna, like, make a little question for myself. Um, I kind of want Bee Swarm to get popular again, just because I think it'll give the creator inspiration to work faster. I'm not trying to rush him. But I'm starting to get a little impatient of how this the update is taking very long. Um, because I'm really excited for it, but at the same time, I don't want it to be like Minecraft where you have to almost wait for like a year because like computer. Okay, now, yes, guys, I do have a couple complaints for Minecraft. And first is why does Java Edition update first and then Bedrock has to wait till like almost a year before it gets it? Or sometimes earlier. Sometimes it's actually a little early because Minecraft is busy and they have other updates to do, but. And then it also sounds like I'm actually happy this time because they actually updated Bedrock first, already adding some of the uh, items into Minecraft. Like, somehow you can, like, turn your Bedrock into be beta I don't know how and you can test the update. Like, so I don't. I don't know how only the goats only the goats and powdery snow and stuff like that um the the powdery snow might look different or maybe it will stay like that it just looked like normal snow but you could sink into it like um no you just walk through it no you can sink into it it's almost like water but you can't float in it unless you have leather boots and for no reason if you have leather boots you can walk on top of the powdery snow i don't know it's kind of weird. but um and then of course the goats just jump around and stuff um i'm already liking the cave and cliff update i really want it to come out and just so you know people some people are getting confused um there's actually more biomes that they're not telling us um one youtuber said that there might be actually six more biomes that they're not saying that are in the caves and cliff update and another hint of where the and and this could be true because if you were actually listening more carefully they said these were just highlights which means it's not the, the whole thing. thing it's it's just the I couple think the, things i think the things that um, I think they just said some of the, uh, lesser things, like the lush caves and the mobs, but they didn't want to say anything else. Um, 
we know we know there's gonna be more items because some creator leaked that they're working on more items. Just because um I don't know why I'm talking about Minecraft and Roblox, but who cares? Um, but it was this video. There was a creator posted something saying, "Oh, guys, this is not actually an item. It's just me testing something for a new item." Um, and what he did is he retextured the yellow flowers but with red on them, and he clearly said that if it's not going to be added, it was just testing a mesh with stuff to make a new item, which means there's more, there's even more items that they're not even saying too and who knows maybe they're even hiding more mobs like come on like now knowing that they're hiding new items and like more biomes is making me think that they're probably gonna release like uh probably gonna release like some um probably gonna like release more mobs it would be really cool if they did have more mobs but the likely chance of more mobs in the update is probably rare um because i think it would be very hard to keep other mobs hidden um but of course they are keeping the other items and other biomes pretty hidden too i, I think maybe the only mob and we all we all know that there's gonna be candles. They never even said about those that were in the cave. And supposedly the reason why it kept turning dark and bright is because supposedly the candles are gonna dim out and dim back in. Supposedly. Um and that's why it was like the warden. Yeah, I thought the warden was making it turn dark again. No, it might be the candles. And then they said, and a YouTuber actually pointed out a really good aspect. The weird stone that we saw the warden at didn't look like normal stone. He said it looked like a new block, and I think it is true. It did not look like anything that we have in Minecraft right now. Um, it might be a new cave biome. Another one, we don't know. All we know is there's the mesh cave, which are supposed to be small, very narrow tunnels. And there's supposed to be, um... And of course we have the lush caves and the giant ones and the dripstone caves and stuff like that. But we don't know what else the other ones are. And then of course when we saw the new giant mob, the new giant scary one, uh, that's when the YouTuber pointed out that that's a new block that he's been walking on. Um, it almost looked like stone bricks, like another variation of stone bricks, but it wasn't. Um, I can't remember what Maybe it's- Maybe it's better graphics. What, 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 uh, no, it was a new block, because it wasn't, like, quite stone bricks, it was, like, something else. Um, he's, he said the name of what stone, or, like, a uh, thing it could be, but now I can't remember it. It was some type of, like, stone that can grow in caves and stuff. Um, so we know that's a new block that's coming, which kind of goes with the new, more new items and stuff like that. Um, use code green. And then, of course, Carter had this YouTuber supposedly say that the the RG, the RG culture or whatever was thing again, where you dig up stuff might not be coming, but that just sounds fake, cause... No, 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 it was, uh, one of the comments, it was like, oh, supposedly so in the digging thing, is this no, like, so know how, um, in the thing, it shows, like, how the bird Yeah, is, so supposedly I that's not. Actually. I don't believe that, cause why would they show that if they weren't adding it? And Except they, it was in the comments, not the YouTubers. Oh, uh, so, yeah, probably, it was probably that guy just trying to mess with the YouTuber, um, because they would have said it if that brush wasn't going to be added, because, um, like, the, where you think there's been layers. Now, guys, I kind of went chill on Minecraft after years and years of me being angry at them, and the reason why is I had a deep hatred for Minecraft, and I don't know why, and it was, like, I liked it. But then there was just something that made me dislike it, and like other games better, and I, I, because the updates too, take too long for Bedrock, and er, people were probably gonna say, well then just buy Java, and I'm like, no, I don't, we don't really need another Minecraft, we already have it on our iPad and PlayStation, we, we don't need a Java, and I always wanted a Java, but now I'm thinking Bedrock is better than Java, even though the updates take a while, we have like a store, we have, um, 
so we have more stuff to do. We actually have add-ons that are getting really well made, almost as good as Java ones. Um, they're yeah, pretty much they're just like becoming they're like they're not even like an add-on. They're pretty much becoming Java mods. Now there is something that I really want someone to do, and is actually make a Java natural disasters thing in Bedrock. It is probably the last time we did one it wasn't that good. The last time we did a natural disaster one, it was super buggy and didn't really work that it was well. The disaster was so I'm really hoping for someone to at least make the tornado mod into bedrock. Um it might be hard, but honestly I think we could do it. Cause I think the way they made it in Java was took a lot of those smoke textures and just smacked it on there, colored it a little differently to the color that it was sucking up and then that was literally it and just made it rotate i think that's what they did because if you pay attention to the texture it's, it's just the tnt explorer it's yeah but tiny and multiple everywhere and then no, they just the same. oh well they just and then just shaped it, just, it. they just shaped it they shaped it and then just colored it to like if it was like sucking up dirt or water and stuff that probably could be in bedrock but it might take a while before we get more creative tools to build mods right now minecraft bedrock hasn't been really giving us that many creative tools well we are and we're actually getting a lot of creative tools actually because they said they're adding yeah they said they're adding a couple more in the caves and cliff update um well no that wasn't it it was saying that they're adding more like creative tools so you can do more stuff like, well, that's not what the creative tool is. They said that they're adding more tools to make it so you can add more creative aspects to like your game and more animations and stuff like that. Now, I the reason why I wanted Java when I was younger was just because of the tornado and natural disaster mods and the sinking boat mods. But now thinking about it, I'm glad that we have Bedrock because Bedrock is still fun. I just wish the updates would come faster. But um, once I found out the reason why, and it was because there's like different companies that have to like get confirmation and work with them and stuff like that and that made me kind of have that hate to go away and i liked minecraft a little bit more um it's this is bucks wait no, you can't see. dang i've been doing this for already 17 minutes no, well, don't look in little... the chat don't look in the chat Just oh my scream. gosh not the scam again why is it always bucks sneak like, is someone literally locking me down, trying to get me to go to that website? Sounds like some famous YouTubers have, um, bot- had bots follow them, and what they do is they say, uh, we are monitoring your account. Oh, what the heck? Why is there a weird thing in the game? You the you not read the people. I know, I can read, I just came out of nowhere, I was like, whoa. Are is my proton P like freaking still mutating? Like what is this? I don't think that's how they spawn. I think they just spawn. No, I think they spawn when you mutate your B. Wouldn't that mean their B would get deleted if they mutated? Wait, but I thought the mutate was like they turned into a giant monster. I swear, I swear it was like a giant monster. Whoa, what the heck is going on over there? What are you talking about, man? Oh my gosh, this guy has the gummy boots! What they do is they can, um... They, when you walk, they make a trail of gum. Yeah, it collects pollen while you walk, too. It just needs a trail, which... Except you don't get gum. The devil? What? What's that? But yeah, guys, I just wanted to just say how I feel like some of these games need more love than people are getting. 
and also hashtag make a battlefront 3 <laughs> i'm just joking um i would love to see a battlefront 3 what i really love is for them to make a remake of the force unleashed series and make him canon please make him canon and if you do make a movie about him because that would be and make awesome him less overpowered. no keep him overpowered no! <laughs> Or make a series about him. Like, instead of him being in the Empire, he could be, like, randomly born. He could be born from Ray or something like that. And there's, like, a series about him and how he gets super proud. I don't know. Actually, I, li I like him being the apprentice to Darth Vader. The only problem is it might be harder to fit it now because of the whole thing. But honestly, I think I know how they could do it. Um, they could make it so you play as his father for a little bit, and you see Execute Order 66. You play through that, and then you play as Darth Maul, I mean Darth Vader, on Kashyyyk, taking over what's left of Kashyyyk, and then you find him. Oh wait, no, but you couldn't go to Kashyyyk, because in canon, they said Kashyyyk was literally to overthrown. So, what they would have to do would, he would have to be in a different planet. And so then Vader finds him there with his 501st Legion, because that's canon, I think. And go in there and just bust him open. And then he takes his son as his apprentice. And then you have to go fight people like Rom Koda, because I think he's canon or he's legends. I think Rom Koda's legends, but you can make him canon and just fit him in there probably. Um, you probably could also fit that weird spider dude in the canon. Um, I don't know how. You could probably make him like that. And maybe actually f say how shocked he dies. Maybe it could actually be that Starkiller kills her instead of being a deleted scene because I feel like that's not right. It should actually be she dies from Starkiller. That would be awesome. So it would almost be like the original but a couple differences to make it canon. And then... And of course, when you go back to Raxian Prime to destroy that Imperial factory, um, rebels are there to help, and then a Star Destroyer is destroying their fleet, and that's when you pull it down. That would be super cool. And for the second game, that would make sense for him to be a clone, because we saw that Emperor Palpatine cloned himself, so that could still work out pretty well. Um, and what they could do to make it even more canon is change the ships to be the Rebel Fleet, because um, by this time, I think they got their supplies from Star Wars Rebels by this time, and like of course we have Kyle Kestis. It would be very cool if he actually met up with Kyle Kestis in like, his third installment of the remakes um i don't know some people want them to continue the legends but i'm just like i'm not sure if disney would really want to do that um i say just make him canon just remake his story make him canon still make him powerful though um and like at least like make more of your newer shows at least talk about him like us and maybe make a comic book about like how Starkiller base was made and stuff something like that and say that it was like like the first order was um impressed about Starkiller's strength and brutality so they named it after him because Starkiller base is literally like massive oh the mandu chicks here okay guys i think um i'm gonna drop off my honey and me and carter should fight the mondo chick and yeah we'll we'll end the video there and once this video's ended i have other things to do like i have to send my intro into the computer and i'll start combining some videos and stuff like that and yeah after we defeat this mondo chick and collect the supplies um i hope you enjoyed this beast one video of me and carter's plan to try to revive this game and hopefully get the creator uh, happy and try to make him so he works harder and faster on this game. Um, Shout out to this person. Oh, you can start fighting it so that it can start doing a little bit of damage to it. Shout out to this person named Troy, though, for the account for looking at me. <laughs>
Mine, I think, are super. Oh, no, I think they're all here. Be careful when he starts walking. Maybe he he's saying, get some lag. Yeah, if you see those weird green eyeballs, you probably should pick those up. They actually help a lot. They make it so they don't miss that much. How did you die? It just stepped on me. It like one hit you. It stepped on me and I died. How did it one hit you? Well, it is a level 8, but I was not expecting that. How do you level your character up? You can't move. Well. He, it was a one hit for you, but I just got touched by him and it didn't one hit me. Oh, it's because some of these items, I think, give you more health or something like that. This is not ending well. Yeah, all my bees are going to sleep. They're all dead. Well, don't talk about that. They're just sleeping, guys. I don't want YouTube to be like, oh my god! Because sometimes YouTube gets a little reactive. Okay. Yeah, guys. Um, about that Twitch thing, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was talking about like I might switch to Twitch. Uh, I decide not to because now knowing what Coppa is actually doing, um, then I'm not that mad. I got really mad about it, but I'm still kind of a little cranky because it's like, come on, we already have YouTube kids and now YouTube's becoming YouTube kids. It's like, dang. I know! <laughs> But that's my, my that's my only complaint about YouTube. Um, I'm really hoping. Um, I'm really hoping that far in the future my YouTube channel actually gets really good and I become the next descendant. Of you never see this video again. Probably you probably a lot of my older videos will be buried because. I'm still a kid, which means I'm gonna, and I already posted a lot of videos, guys. When I first became a YouTuber, I was posting like crazy. Um, I'm still thinking of deleting some old videos, uh, just because I don't think I'm too cringe. I already have like 300 something videos. I have like 300 something videos already I think and I just started like two years ago actually 300 videos right now is probably about the right amount when you start as a kid when you start you just bought on your YouTube channel to make a billion videos the first day I'm not sure what my best friend Esteban's doing because I know he doesn't post that often I'm probably like the one that posts the most um all I know is I hope he's getting subscribers, and I hope subscribers are subscribing to me, because I just helped him a little bit by making it so if you go to my YouTube channel, you can actually find his YouTube channel and mine, you can just click it, and then boom, you can just head to his channel. Um, I'm still trying to find my best friend Jaden's, um, <laughs> I know it does exist, but for no reason. It just does not want to appear, and I don't know if that's because he needs to get more popular or something, or more post more videos. Um, because this did happen with my friends, where I wasn't appearing for a little bit, till I actually started like posting more things. Um, all I know, all I know, subscribers, you're gonna be very OG to my channel. Some of them are already OG. Uh, it was Jaden. Jaden is the OGest subscriber. Mm -hmm. 
Now, yeah, guys, I'm not like one of those YouTubers that always like to ask for sub subs and likes. I only ask just a couple times in some videos. I don't, I'm not like those YouTubers that say, like this video in five oh, seconds. It's a spider. It's like, come on, stop threatening people just because they're not liking your video. Like, it's really, like, people, YouTubers are getting to the point where they're literally going to, like, threaten people just to get money. Like, that's, that's bad. I'm not gonna do that. Once in a while, I'll say, please, and I'll say, like, thank you and stuff to be nice. Um, um, I did ask in my 50 sub special that I posted, and that was just because I wanted to know if you guys wanted more, uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Um, well, I didn't say subscribe, I just said like or comment. I didn't say you have to like, I said you could also comment yes or no. Um, please, no, I don't want that. Um, now some of you guys still like those YouTubers, I kind of like them because they're pretty funny, but I just, I just don't like when they do it all the time. And also guys, you know who all of us hate? Clickbaiters, because they're freaking dumb as crap. Like, literally, I, I have no sympathy for clickbaiters, I hate them. Cause they, they are, they're the ones that make games unpopular, they're the ones that ruin everything for someone. They're the ones that freaking are stupid thinking people can watch their babies and baby boomers believe in that stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> what is that? But, um... But yeah, kid, kids and kids with mental issues believe in that crap, and it's, it's sad, because a lot of the majority are those people, and they get tricked so easily that it, it's, it, it's just sad, because then they expect it to happen. There was one time where I did fall for a clickbait once, and I thought he was actually telling the truth that time, had so much just because he saw that there was a giant wave file, and was like, oh, maybe the flood's about to happen, and he said it was just a splash of water, and it made me very depressed during the robot event um that's why you don't trust clickbaiters and honestly i've decided not to really watch any uh leaks because now i'm just wanting to get it on my own and hope for the best um i do watch sound ones because you don't really know what the sounds are going to be but i don't look at like the the, the machine uh, leaks and stuff like that sometimes i accidentally sometimes i accidentally look at it but then i'm like oh wait but then we don't know what it's really going to be used for in the device um so i try not to watch those i only watch the sound ones or some things that are about to happen but i don't really watch them but okay guys after this mondo trick is down and we'll collect the supplies Sound what right? <laughs> the name. It's almost defeated. We need just to do a little bit more damage to it. Yeah. I'm worried that we might not be able to do enough damage to kill it because we have five minutes left and it's only on 76. The wow. ultimate battle! And then I don't know, I don't, what level are most of your beings at? Oh, that could explain why we haven't been getting it down. Only two. Well, make sure you get those green coins, because they'll help a lot. They'll make it so your bees don't yeah, just start on it. Rage, I think, makes it so they do, yeah, plus one more damage. The green tokens make it so they have a critical chance and they don't miss as much. You're doing all the damage. Yeah, I'm probably mostly doing the most damage. You have more eight. I have almost all my bees are level eight. And I think um my proton bee though is not. He's like a level six or something like that. This is the final battle. He's new. Okay, maybe we do have a little bit of hope. He's actually really low now. It always like goes straight for me all of a sudden. Why why does it have running blue? We made that indeed. It's almost like me, how I have like red and blue crap. That's um I think what the mod is. I think 
it's like all of that weird. I've been trying to collect all of that stuff, but it's so expensive to get this supplies. Your bleeds are probably I got a not as... Guys, do, do one damage. Oh. Yeah, when it's, when it's in this egg, it like blocks a lot of times. I don't like it just says miss. It actually says block. <sighs> Sometimes it'll say miss, but that's only... If you actually miss, but it actually says block a lot. Yes, yeah, it's saying block when it's in its A. Maybe it's because yours are saying miss just because it's a le a lesser or level B. No, I think it's because your B's are a lower level. And they're missing. So I yours probably don't say block. block as much. They'll probably say block if you had more level A B. Wow, I'm science fair. My poor my calculations, it shall die. In like right now. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, um, how? This is like the King Beetle. How much does it have? Bro, how is it not defeated yet? This is literally impossible. Have... Oh, we did it. Monster Gives you a lot of points. And it gives you a lot of these bitter berries. Like, you can this is when you need a cold bear, man. At least you got tons of like uh honey. Right? You got tons of honey. Damn, it's still dropping crap. This, see, this is what I had. Yeah. Damn, that looks like a lot of honey. It's still dropping honey. What is this? I wanna be my Dang, that was like a lot of honey. Okay guys, I'm gonna end it here for this video. Um I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I don't think we can do video. We're just gonna end it off like this pose, and yeah. I have an idea. Oh yeah, and I have a tip for beginner Roblox videos. Turn on your mic. Don't use the chat. It's super annoying. No one likes it. I'm dancing. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, and I hope you like my little brother being in it, because he likes to be in them, and I'm trying to make my YouTube channel a little better for him and everyone else. I try to keep it kid-friendly as possible, but some of my videos are a little not really kid-friendly, because, like, Among Us is kid-friendly, but then sometimes you can get those inappropriate dudes, so I might just call them not kid-friendly, and I call the Star Killer not kid-friendly, because... There is, some, it, there is a little bit of uh, moves in the game where there are a little uh, not kid friendly, like holding someone with a force and literally impaling them with a lightsaber, and they make those like ah, oh, oh, and then like when you tase them, yeah, I don't, I don't really want younger kids doing that. Can I go get some? But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy and bye.